So in the very first video, we actually set up uh, a GitLab server inside a Docker container by using the terminal commands. And then in the second video, we actually move those Docker commands from using a terminal to a, a Docker compose.yaml file. So that actually made it a bit easy to run a GitLab server by just running the command Docker compose up. And then in the third video, we actually register the GitLab runner alongside the GitLab server in a separate container. So in the third video, we actually had two containers, two services in a Docker Compose file. One was running the GitLab server and the other was running a GitLab runner. And then in our last video, we actually registered uh, a pipeline runner, which was actually a Docker executor inside that GitLab runner container and the GitLab server was, was actually communicating through the GitLab runner to the Docker executors to run pipelines. So just to revise the overall architecture, how this GitLab server, GitLab runner and the Docker executor was communicating and how they were structured inside the Docker containers. So this is our host machine uh, on which we are running our docker host and docker engine and then we had a gitlab server container running on this host machine then we had another gitlab runner container running alongside the gitlab server both of these two docker containers uh, were running through uh, a docker compose file and then inside the gitlab runner we had this docker executor container so it was actually a container within a container and every time we, we are running a build pipeline, the Docker executor actually takes that pipeline and clone the repository inside this Docker executor, run the pipelines. And after the pipeline is ran successfully, that Docker executor, which is actually a Docker container, will be shut down. And whenever there is a new pipeline in the queue, the Docker executor will come up. They'll start picking up those pipelines from the repository. So in this video, what we are doing is that instead of manually registering this Docker executor inside the GitLab runner to process the pipelines from the GitLab server, we'll actually try to automate this process. So once we have the GitLab server, then we have the GitLab runner. Instead of going to the GitLab UI and generating a regist registration URL from there, and then going back to uh, login into the GitLab runner container and running the commands there. I will just try to automate this whole process by using the Docker Compose. So let me just revise how we actually register a Docker executor inside a GitLab runner by using a manual way. So this is our, our GitLab server running inside a Docker container. And we also have why do a docker psa we also have a docker gitlab runner so at this stage we have gitlab server and also a gitlab runner and if i go to the browser and visit localhost 8088 i can see that my gitlab server uh running here i'll just quickly show you how we did the manual uh, registration of the docker executor runner so i'll just quickly create a project we just call it a demo project under the root repository i'll just make it uh public so this is our repository now if i go to the pipelines currently uh, i don't see any pipelines i'll just go to the pipeline editor configure pipeline and i'll quickly copy paste this this very short uh, pipeline snippet to run uh, a python image so i'll commit it and now if i go to my pipelines the pipeline is added to the queue but uh, it's in pending stage and if i go to the pending then i go to the build stage and it says that the job is stuck because you don't have any active runners to install runner i'll go to cicd then i'll go to runners new project runner i'll get just a, a dummy name create runner then i'll copy this command and here i'll go to my terminal and log into the gitlab runner container And I'll run that command to execute the pipelines inside a, a Docker executor. We just need this flag for uh, registering Docker container to so the GitLab runner can spin up uh, the Docker executors. Yeah, 
if you guys have not seen my previous video i'll highly recommend to go and start uh, all the previous videos because i have already explained all these things and all these commands very extensively in my previous videos so that is the reason i'm just going quickly through it so you guys can see what we have covered so far and how we can automate this process so instead of coming into this terminal and copying all these commands from the browser and then pasting and running it inside this gitlab render container we will actually automate this process inside this video so here i'm just revising all these steps so now if i go to my browser back and they are saying that okay you have registered a new runner now if i go to the runners uh, you guys can see the runner is registered here and if i go to uh, the pipelines you can see the pipeline is already run and it uh, ran successfully so now instead of doing all these steps manually by generating a registration url from here and then going back to the terminal and running all those command here we can automate this whole process by adding all these commands inside our docker compose file so let's quickly go through it and see how we can do all these manual steps inside the docker compose file so this is currently how it is set up we have this gitlab server uh, it has some environment variables configurations volumes and ports and we have also the gitlab runner now to auto run the gitlab runner registration command i'll just copy that command here this actually looks the same command which we run previously by copying from the runner registration page and then we run it inside the gitlab runner container so here i'm overriding the entry point and then i am adding a, a command so whenever the gitlab runner container will run we will just override the default entry point to make it null and then we will also pass an initial command whenever the container runs for the first time so we are passing bin slash sh and then we are passing some arguments here and this is the command gitlab runner register uh, since this command will run automatically and we will not pass any arguments uh, manually so we are making it non-interactive this is the same url localhost 8088 which is the gitlab server url so this is the same uh, registration token which we have used here so this way the gitlab server and the gitlab runner can cross verify each other so no external gitlab runner can register with our gitlab server the executor is docker the docker network mode is host so the gitlab runner can communicate with the gitlab server through localhost and the default image we are setting is python alpine once this command is run by the docker gitlab runner then we are also restarting the gitlab runner so the new configuration could be effective immediately one other thing is since we are communicating with the gitlab server through localhost here it's also mandatory that before running this command the gitlab server should be up and running otherwise this command would fail initially and until we restart the gitlab runner the docker executor will not be registered so to make the gitlab runner dependent on the gitlab server so every time we run these two services the docker compose will make sure that the gitlab server should be running first before running the gitlab runner so for that we can add this quick command here which is depends on and so this is from the docker compose and the gitlab server is the name of our docker compose service which is the gitlab service and the condition is that the service is healthy so it's not just that the gitlab server container should be running the whole purpose here is that the gitlab server container should be running and the gitlab server inside that container should also be ready and should be accepting connect connections to make sure that the service is healthy on the gitlab server side we can run the health check as well so i'll copy paste the health check command and paste it into the gitlab server so this is how the gitlab server health check will be checked so it's curl localhost interval is 60 seconds so the docker compose will check the gitlab server every 60 seconds and the request timeout will be three seconds and it will be retried for five times so now let's see how the whole process will be working 
So what will the Docker Compose do that it will first try to run the GitLab server and also the GitLab runner. But when it comes to the GitLab runner, it will see that the GitLab runner depends on the GitLab server. And there is a condition that the GitLab server condition must be healthy. So the Docker Compose will go to the GitLab server. And since we have configured the condition as the server is healthy, the Docker Compose will make sure that the GitLab server is running and this health check also pass. Every 60 seconds, the Docker Compose will send requests to this URL. And once this health check pass, then it will try to run the GitLab runner. And once the GitLab runner is executed, then it will try to run this command. And once this command is run successfully, this will try to restart the GitLab runner. And once all these steps are completed, and when we visit our GitLab server inside the browser, we will see that the GitLab runner, the Docker executor, and everything is set up by using just one command. Now what I will do is that I'll go to my terminal. I'll close the existing setup. I'll do a Docker compose down. So this will actually remove all my running container. And if you guys see here, uh, I have stored the GitLab configurations here inside the GitLab volume. So I'll also remove this volume. So this way we will have a brand new GitLab server, a GitLab runner, and we can verify that when we run a, a Docker Compose file from the very beginning, we should have everything set up, including GitLab server, GitLab runner, and Docker executor. Now I'll go and rerun the command Docker Compose up. So this command could take around maybe five to 10 minutes. So we'll just wait and we will recheck after 10 minutes. And once this runs successfully, and if we go to the browser, we should have everything set up and running. So now we can see uh, our GitLab server is up and running. I'll go to the GitLab server. So now if I create a new project, And now if I go to the CACD and the runners and the runner, I can see that there is one runner already registered by default. So now what I will do is that for testing, I'll go to the build pipeline editor. And for the demo, I'll just set up a very quick pipeline using Python image. And now if I go to the pipeline, you guys can see that the pipeline is running automatically. So using this method we didn't actually go to the CACD part and then the runner part and then click on the new register adding some details and then getting this command from here and going to the terminal and running the command here so this way by using just the docker compose file uh, you can automatically set up your GitLab server GitLab runner and then inside the GitLab runner you can automatically register your docker executor but for this you need to make sure that the gitlab server must be up and running and accepting requests before you set up the gitlab runner by using this depends on and using the health conditions and one thing other is that to make sure that this token which is set inside the gitlab server by using the environment variable must be matching to this registration token which we are passing inside this registration command now we have set up all these things inside the docker compose but you can exactly copy paste these commands wherever you are going to set up your gitlab server and your gitlab runner so whether it's aws ec2 you can use these commands by logging to your ec2 instance and running these commands but before that you need to make sure that this token is set here and also the GitLab server is running. If you are setting up your GitLab server inside Kubernetes uh, by using the Kubernetes YAML files like the pods templates, you can set the same command inside those pods YAML mm -hmm. as well. And once your Docker containers are up through Kubernetes, all these things should be automatically completed. Now regarding the source code, I have attached the Docker Compose file source code as a GitHub link in the video description so you guys can find it there. So with this, I think we have completed all the steps to set up a GitLab server, set up a GitLab runner, register a GitLab runner executor using Docker Compose and we also saw how we can 
set up all these things automatically by using docker compose let me know in the comments if you guys need to know how we can set up the kubernetes runner instead of the docker executor that's all for this video series on how to set up gitlab server and runner so this was all about the gitlab server setup and the gitlab runner setup using docker